This is the second to the last Sunday of our topic, Courageous Hope. And we are so blessed that the Lord has given us the opportunity to always be reminded uh, who is the source of our courage, the source of our hope. And of course, I want to see the hand who came here today that you are expecting more to God today. Amen. Amen. Are you expecting more to God today? Of course, what is the best thing we have to prepare ourselves is that every time we go to church, you will always say to yourself, I expect more things. Because when you expect more, you're going to leave with lots of things in your hand. But if you will just come here without any expectation, which the Lord will going to do to, do to you today, of course, you will leave this place empty-handed. And today, let me just give you the message of the Lord. It is about the courage in the midst of battle. Amen. The courage in the midst of battle. I remember when I was uh, in elementary till, I think, high school, God has given me this, uh, this gift, this talent, uh, during my high school day to the elementary that I was being uh, trained by my teachers to join the oratorical contest. So maybe some of you are aware of it and some the impromptu speech. So you're going to go join the competition for, for a regional division. And of course, uh, the life of your pastor, we're living in Tondo, and I love to join because when you join, aside from the medals or trophies, you have cash prize. So every time I join this competition, my mom always telling me, in Tagalog, anak, maglagay ka ng piso sa sapatos mo. Pangdagdag tapang yan. So what I'm trying, what mom? You have to put one peso coin in your shoes so that when you are on stage and you deliver your, your impromptu speech or your oratorical piece, you have the courage. You can draw strength from that one peso. Grabe no piso, nakakahugot ng lakas. So what I did is that every time I joined the competition, I put uh, that one peso coin inside my shoes. And probably that time, true enough, every time I am feel nervous, yung aking mga toes, ay pinipress ko dun sa coin, eh tumatapang na. Talagang yung nararamdaman ko yung sakit, nakawala yung kaba ko. So in short, this been my ritual, every time I join the competition, I have one peso in my, uh, one peso coin in, inside my shoes. Hindi naman dalawa, isa lang. So, that, that's where I draw to take away all the nervousness that time when, when I am on stage. And every time I join the competition, praise God and glory to God, eh, hindi naman tayo nagiging first place, pero laging second. Then every time I join that competition, laging yung taga uh, uh, Arroyo High School yung nakakalabang ko. Ar Arellano High School. So every time, there's always, we're meeting together in all competitions. Sabi ko, talagang pang second ako, sige, first ka na. So, uh, in this world, we have a lot of things to to find ways, where can I draw my strength? Maybe some of you, if you are desperate, disappointed, you draw your strength from eating. You just eat. Kakain ko na lang to. Or maybe some of you, I'll just, I'll just go to sleep. Just to, you know, probably change this mood. But today, the, God has given us uh, one character in the Bible in the name of King Jehoshaphat, which I was in love with the story because the battle that he experienced is not just a simple battle but probably the same battle that we might experience and i like to encourage everyone to just please rise for a while to join with me together reading second chronicles chapter 2 verse 1 to 22 so medyo mahaba haba but i believe everyone can join with me reading this praise god and as I've said, the title of our topic today is The Courage in the Midst of Battle. Let's read together. After this, the Moabites and Ammonites with some of the Mayonites came to wage war against Jehoshaphat. Some people came and told Jehoshaphat, A vast army is coming against you from Edom, from the side of the Dead Sea. It is already Hazenon Tamar, that is Endi and Gedi. Alarmed, Joseph resolved to inquire of the Lord, and he proclaimed a fast for all, the Jude, for all Judah. And then the people of Judah came together to seek help from the Lord. 
Indeed, they came from every town in Judah to seek him. Verse 5. Then Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord in front of a new courtyard and said, Lord, the God of Ancestor, are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nations. Power and might are in your hand, and no one can withstand you. Our God, did you not drive out the inhabitant of this land before your people Israel give it forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend? They have lived in it and have built it in a sanctuary for your name, saying, If calamity comes upon us, whether the sword of judgment or plague of famine, we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name and will carry out to you in our distress and you will hear us and save us. But now, here are men from Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir whose territory you will not allow Israel to invade when they came from Egypt. So they turned away from them and they did not destroy them. See how they are repaying us by coming to drive us out of the possession you gave us as an inheritance. Or our God will not judge them. For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. All the men of Judah, with their wives and children and little ones, stood there before the Lord. Then the Spirit of the Lord came at Jahazel, son of Zechariah, the son of Beniah, and the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, and Levite, and descendants of Asaph, as he stood in the assembly. He said, Listen, King Jehoshaphat, and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, march down against them. They will be climbing up by the pass of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the gorge in the desert of Jeruel. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord God or the Lord give you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. No? Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them. And what? Sige po, tuloy po natin. Jehoshaphat bowed down with his face to the ground and all the people of Judah and Jerusalem fell down in worship before the Lord. Then some Levites from the Kohathites and Korahites stood up and praised the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. Early in the morning, they left from the desert of Tekoa. As they set out, Jehoshaphat's students said, Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in His prophets, and you will be successful. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing the Lord to the Lord and to praise Him for the splendor of His holiness as they went out at the head of the army, saying, Give thanks to the Lord, for His love endures forever. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah, and they were defeated. Let's give a hand to the Lord. Wow, we may be all seated. Praise God. Have you seen the power of this text message? And today, there are some initial thoughts that the Lord put into my heart that by man's nature, no, by nature, rather, man's initial need in the midst of uncertainty is to have courage. Reading this chapter of, of 2 Chronicles 20, we can see that King Jehoshaphat is really had this experience no, to be in an uncertainty. And in reality, tayo pong mga tao, when we are uncertain, all and the first initial steps we find is that where can I draw courage? Right? Where can I draw courage? Especially, we know for a fact that when we live here in Canada, the first time we step feet here in Canada, we're first-timer, we don't know where to go and what to do. 
Sino dito unang dating takot mag-drive through? Amamin po. O si pastora lang. When I came here at first, we don't know how to do drive through. Nagtuturuan po kami mag-asaw. Ikaw na. Ikaw na nag- mas okay ka mag-English. So it's hard. Where do you draw your courage? Riding in a bus because you don't have any car yet. Where's the bus stop? Uncertainty. And even decision making of our self here in Canada, it's all started with uncertainty. I remember when we started living boat while drive, eh, ang sarap pong magluto ng dried fish. Umusok. Yung, um, uminga yung ating uh, alarm. Umamin po dito yung unang ginawa niya, pinaypayan niya yung ano. Everything, all of these experiences. Hi, ano ang gagawin ko? We are looking for work in I draw courage. Right? Bakit ho kayo tumata? Ako lang ho ba nakaranas nun? And you know what? By nature, man's possible response to challenge is to find the source. I have uncertainty. I don't know where to take this courage. But the next time I want to find out is where will I draw this courage? So that's why when we are not having this deep relationship with the Lord, marami po ang sumusugal ng buhay sa Canada. Amen ho ba? They just hold on things for a temporary courage. But praise be to God, despite of a different status of our life, different brokenness of life, today we found the real source of courage, and that is the Lord. Amen? I am standing here, and when I'm standing here, I'm looking at each one of you. I see different stories of broken lives. And now, it's not anymore a broken life, but a fixed life in the hands of Jesus. Amen? Give a hand to the Lord. And the third thing is that it is real that even the Bible, they foster, or even the Bible promotes the word courage. And did you know that in Strong Concordance, uh, Concise Vine uh, Dictionary, uh, there are a lot of what they call 20 entries under courage, the word courage. Five entries under courageous, and one entry about for courageously. So in short, there are a total of 26 entry of word courage courage that is found in the Bible. So in short, every day we need courage. Aristotle said, courage is the first of human qualities. And take note, kapag wala ka ng courage, wala ka nang mapapractice na ibang virtue. Do you know that? Uh, did you know that? If you don't have any courage in life, and you don't know the, the, the definition of courage, you cannot practice any more virtues. Because courage first and all the virtues will follow. Gigising ka ng umaga. Isang katapangan kaya yung babahong ba ako? Hindi. Tama ba? Papasok ba ako? Visit ako sa boss ko eh. Will I go to work? I'm so disappointed to my boss. Will I or I will not? Every day is a courage. Especially to the parents who've been, you know, raising up their children. How can I raise them? It's still all about courage. So today, let's talk about a specific person named King Jehoshaphat. And the sermon outline talks about the glance of a King Jehoshaphat's reign. And knowing that we read Second Chronicles, we can see that how courage is being manifested in that chapter, we will try to understand the need of courage of King Jehoshaphat in the day of battle. Intindihin natin kung gano'ng kalalim yung pangangailangan niya ng tapang. Sa totoo lang po, di ba? Lahat tayo eh, gustong makapag-drive. Di ba? Praise the Lord. Hindi pa rin kami makapag-drive. We want courage. Nag-practice ako, may kinatak ko dun sa Port Saskatchewan. Yeah? But you know what? We need to understand why and up to what extent people need courage. And then this King Jehoshaphat will tell us, or we'll, we'll get sh- uh, see in, her, in his life the extent of his uh, need about courage. And after that, we will see how King Jehoshaphat established 
Where did King Jehoshaphat establish the courage? Saan niya hinuhugot? Saan niya kinukuha yung tapang na yun? And then the next one, the last one is that after he established the courage, where and how did this courage has been released? And we can see that in 2 Chronicles 20, we read that the courage has been drawn at sila ay nanalo dahil lang sa pagkanta at pag-awit at pagsamba sa Diyos. Amen? So, at a glance, we can see that King Jehoshaphat was the fourth king and he was 35 years old. Who among you are around 30s? Yung iba po wag mangarap. Yeah. Yung sa totoo lang. Sa totoo lang po. Tell the truth and the truth will set you free. Amen? Imagine at the age of 35, King uh, Jehoshaphat reigned in Israel and he began his reign and he reigned 25 years. So Jehoshaphat strengthened Judah military by building an army and many forts. So pinalakas niya po no, ang military of Judah. He campaigned against idolatry and renewed the worship of the one true God. And ito po yung maganda eh. Advocate siya ng education. And he, he used traveling teachers, pinapatravel niya, just to educate people of God about the laws. So Jehoshaphat solidified peace. Kaya po nagkaroon ng peace ang Israel at ang Judah dahil po kay King Jehoshaphat. So he never once fell into pagan religion or any practices of a neighboring Israel and men of Judah's king as well. His heart, basahin nga po natin to, his heart was devoted to the ways of the Lord. Napakaganda po, no? Hindi siya natinag. Even the other tribes, so yung mga katabi niya, they're, they're trying to, to, to switch their way, but King Jehoshaphat remained no, in the ways of the Lord. Although in the latter part, medyo nagkaroon din siya ng problema. He removed the play, high places and the Asherah poles from Judah. And Jehoshaphat continues to make reforms. Nag-appoint siya ng mga judges and he is the one who handled disputes. So, napakaganda po, no? What a kind of transformation where King Jehoshaphat did in Judah. And if you're going to take the next sermon outline is that, saan nga ba? Hin bakit nga ba kailangan, no? Why, why King Jehoshaphat need the, the value of courage in that situation. I want you to go over again on our chapter on 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 2. Sabi po doon, Some people came and told Jehoshaphat, A vast army is coming against you from Edom, from the side of the Dead Sea. It is already in. Ibig sabihin, ang lapit na nila. Malapit na sila. And you know what, Jehoshaphat? They are vast army. So actually, why, why Jehoshaphat need this courage? What is that level of courage that he need? First, when the situation is not in your favor, kailangan mo ng tapang. Tama ba? When things are not in your favor, you need courage. Some people came, sabi dito, vast army. And I tried to research in some commentary, uh, the account of Joseph at Tremendous Army is 1.1 million. But the vast army of Moabites, Ammonites, sina pa po? Knights, Knights, ang dami nila. Mega Knights, o oh, hindi ko alam ang Knights, Knights na yan. There are a lot, vast, vast, vast army. And take note, ito pa yung matindi. When the situation is not in your favor, madami na sila, malapit na sila. Hello? Have you ever had a chance in your life that people are trying to, to show to you that this situation is not in your favor? In short, underdog. Ano pang tawag sa boxing doon? Dehad. Ano ba yan? Dehado? See? Have you had this life, experience in this life that you need the courage. Kaya naiintindihan natin. Now we understand that King Jehoshaphat is really in need of courage because one, the situation is not on his favor. Amin natin matapang tayo pag marami tayong bala. Tama? But you know what? 
There are seasons in our life that the Lord wants us to be less so He can be more. There are the seasons in our life that the Lord wants us to be weak so He can be strong. There are times that people, they need to understand that I need courage because the situation is not on my favor. I have experienced one of our churchmates here asking for prayer, beating the time na sila. It is because pinaalis na sila sa titirahan nila. Hindi nila alam. Tapos magbe-birthday pa. Talang wala nang way. But truly, God is a God of a perfect timing. When people trying to press you down and you have limited, limited situation that is not in favor of you, God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Amen! This is what King Jehoshaphat is experiencing. What he's experiencing is a literal expectation that the favor is not on their present situation. Ito pa po yung nakakatakot eh. It is already in Hazenon Tamar. I-rephrase natin. Jehoshaphat, malapit na sila. Eh baka yung mga kasama nagbumuta pa bagong gising umiinat. May gera na pala. The favor is not in you. Sometimes favor will not be in us. Because when the favor is not in us, it is in the hands of God. Be ready for God's intervention. Amen? The second thing, when the situation is not in your favor, ano po yung sabi sa Psalms 5.12? Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with favor as with a shield. Alam niyo po yung shield? Pwede niyo pang i-acto sa akin ano yung shield? Ano yung itsura ng shield? Hindi ho, opa. Paano yung shield? Shield. In short, when you say shield, whatever comes along your way, you have the shield. And this is what the Lord said. You will bless the righteous. You surround them with the favor as with a shield. In short, people may attack you in front. People may attack you at the back. People may attack you left and right, but the Lord is your shield. Heaven is open. Kaya kang alisin ng Lord pataas. Psalm 84, 11, For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does He withhold from those who walk is blameless. When situation is not in your favor, let God make His way. Amen? The Lord will restore favor and honor if we just walk blamelessly. Now let us understand the two points why King Joseph had need courage that time. In verse 3, it says there, alarmed. Sa ibang version po, frightened, scared. Describe si King Joseph is scared. Honestly, when you are in a political position, if there's a lot of pressure, you should be on what? Just calm. You should not show that you are alarmed or scared. Otherwise, your enemy will take advantage of you. But here, Joseph, Jehoshaphat, literally said, alarmed. In short, no one is exempted to be discouraged and to be frightened. Natatakot din tayo. And then it says in verse 3, Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire. The best thing that he, he can do is seek the Lord. And he proclaimed prayer and fasting. Let us pray and fast. Listen. Ano yung verse 2? Sabi, paparating na sila. Sabi ng mga kakampi ni Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, they're already in Hazenon Tamar. But what King Jehoshaphat did, he inquired to the Lord and declared prayer and fasting. Hindi nga sinabing, humanda na kayo, nandyan na sila, kunin nyo na lahat na makukuha nyo. But he first said, he went to the Lord and he proclaimed prayer and fasting. Did you know that prayer and fasting is a powerful weapon in the midst of our warfare? Prayer and fasting is the key. 
And then they pass. Ano po yung second key? When pressured exist and burden is on you. Kailangan mo ng tapang. Have you realized in yourself that all people around you eh sa'yo lahat umaasa. Sa'yo lahat. And to the point na sa'yo na umaasa, they're all depending on you plus the factor, the pressure are existing. Kaya nga, praise the Lord, nakakilala tayo sa Panginoon eh. Kahit wala tayong pera, masaya tayo eh. Tingnan niyo yung katabi mo, ang saya-saya. Di ba pag inuutangan pa nga when they're asking, can I borrow money? Ay, wal ah, wala ako eh. Ikaw, mawawala niya yung saya-saya ng mukha mo. Bakit? Si Kristo kasama eh. Amen! Amen. Hallelujah! Kahit walang laman ng ref, masaya dahil merong spiritual mana, may pasyaron pa. When pressure exists and burden is on you, that's how I understand King Jehoshaphat. I understand that moment, his need of courage because the pressure is already existing, papalapit na. At tapos umaasa pa yung buong lahi. Taas ang kamay dito na marami pang umaasa sa kanya sa Pilipinas. Iwagayway ang mga kamay. Pumalakpak sa Diyos. Hallelujah! Sometimes they don't know what we're experiencing here. Kahit may sakit tayo, pumapasok tayo. Because we love them. Because we care for them. And there are moments in life here in Canada we have to work because they need our support in the Philippines. What pushes you sometimes to go to work even you're sick? Because you love your family back then. Kaya salamat sa Lord, binibigyan tayo ng lakas sa araw-araw makapagtrabaho. The courage to go to work. And for our family listening right now in live streaming in the Philippines, mahal po namin kayo kaya kami nagtatrabaho din dito. This is the courage. Hallelujah. Can we just raise our hand? Let's pray for our family in the Philippines. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We love our family in the Philippines or not even not in the Philippines. Our loved ones that are not here today. Thank you, God, for giving us the courage to work. You always supply all our needs. We may not be with them physically, but Lord, we want to share whatever blessings we have here. We pray for your protection to them, your comfort, and the joy, Lord, that even we will not be always together, but the peace and the love that comes from you is already more than enough to feel, Lord, the security that you are in our whole entire family. Lord, bless the Philippines and bless our loved ones. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Woo. When pressure exists and burden is on you, we can understand why King Jehoshaphat need courage. When pressure exists and burdens on you, Exodus 14, 14 said, you will have to do anything. You will not have to do anything. But stay. But stay. Tingnan yung katabi niyo, kalmang-kalma. Nakapikit na ata, hindi naman. Payapang-payapa siya. Pumalakpak po ang payapang-payapa. Alangan po kayo sa sagot. Ano ha? Pumalakpak po ang gising. Praise the Lord. What a powerful verse! Exodus 14, 14. 
You will not have to do anything. Stay calm. Because the Lord will fight for us. Stay calm. You don't need to fight this battle. It is in my hand. It is not in your hand. When pressure and burden is on you, kalma, kalma. God will fight our battle. Amen. Hallelujah! Psalms 55, 22, Give your burdens to the Lord. He will carry them. He will not permit the godly to sleep or fall. Give your burdens. Sino dito gusto nangihingi ng burden? Pakitanong po yung katabi. Gusto mo ng problema? May bibigay po ako sa inyo. Maraming marami. Pero sino ang gusto ng pera? Taas ang kamay. Ang lasigaw. It is not more than money that God is promising us. All. Not some. But all are burdens. He will carry them. He will not permit the godly to sleep or fall. Walang problemang binibigay ang Diyos higit sa ating kakayanan. Problems are being given by God to test our maturity. And problems is the opportunity for another door of blessing. Amen! Hallelujah! Number three. When surrounded with fear and hopelessness, I understand why King Jehoshaphat need courage that time because he is surrounded with fear and hopelessness. Verse 4, we can see in here, the people of Judah came to seek together or to, uh, came together to seek help from the Lord. Indeed, they came from every town in Judah to seek him. I want to say it in Tagalog. Ano ang pakiramdam mo yung lumalapit sa'yo, mayat maya, hindi natatapos? May problema sa Pilipinas. Tutulog ka, meron uli. Lalo na pag 15.30. Sunod-sunod yung ting-ting, notification, ting-ting. Minsan ayaw na nating buksan yung messenger natin, kinakabahan tayo eh. Tasang kamay ang nararanasan niyo. Praise be to God. Salamat sa tapang na binibigay ng Diyos araw-araw. Even we receive some bad news, hopelessness, and even fear. Alam natin, God is still in control of everything. The people of God came together to seek help. If I am King Jehoshaphat that time, I'll be stressed. Malapit na yung kalaban, padami pa ng padami yung lumalapit sa akin. Town, town. Ang sabi dito, town in every Judah came. Iisa lang siguro sinasabi, nagre-reklamo, King Jehoshaphat, andyan na. King Jehoshaphat, andyan na. Napalibutan na ba ko yun ng taong lahat puro negative? Puro walang makitang positivity in life. Where King Jehoshaphat draw his carriage, I believe, none other than his faith in the Lord. When you are surrounded with fear and hopelessness, Deuteronomy 31.8, and the Lord is the one who is giving, going ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not desert you or abandon you. Do not fear and do not be dismayed. I want to borrow Ati Jusil for a while. When I'm reading this verse, I am so, you know what, I'm so blessed. I, I am able to encounter this verse many times, but this morning, I keep on reading it. The Lord gave me an impression. Listen. Away ka muna sa pans mo. Praise the Lord. Damagdaman natin ang init from CYN Summit. Hallelujah. The verse of Deuteronomy 31.8, look at this as, they, as our uh, man team pro, uh, post this one. And the Lord is the one who is going, sabi doon, ahead of you. Nasaan si Lord? 
going ahead of you. He will be with you. And He will desert you. Or he will not desert you nor abandon you. So do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Do you see what I'm saying? When you are surrounded with people of lots of problems, difficulties, before tayo dumating sa problema ng yan, alam na ng Dios. Every season of our life, we feel disappointed and discouraged, and you cannot find any more ways. The Lord is already to be what going ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not desert you. Be not afraid, for I am with you. Praise be to God. Thank you, Ate Jusil. I'm reading this verse so many times, and I'm crying to the Lord. Lord, thank you. Sherwood Park will celebrate its seven years. I cannot, I cannot contain the joy how this church has been blessed by God. We're just a vessel and no one can claim the glory. I remember when we were having our NOP, we have just five chairs, right, Brother Ed? And I'm always telling to Ed, take word of this, Ed. One day, NOP will be like a Sunday service. Take note of this to all the leaders, I'm telling you. Those empty chairs will be put down and this will be filled with people. And one day, we will have our own place where we can have double and multiple services. Because the Lord is going to be ahead of us. He will be with us and He will never abandon us. And then I said, Lord, how can we cross and sustain this church if I am talking to people who have no lamia, no status? Ano ko sila makakasama? But the Lord said to me, I am going to be with you. And why? Because if God did to Sister Rose to be a permanent resident here, He can do it again. I, there's a lot of single mom here and I know their pains and how they fight for their paper. But God make miracles. And recently, one of our family experiencing it, and now the working permit was now approved. Because God says, I am going to be with you, with you, and never abandon you. Psalms 3, verse 3. But you, O oh Lord, are always my shield from danger. You give me victory and restore my courage. In other translation of Psalms 3 verse 3, Bless the Lord is the lifter of my countenance. Bless the Lord is the lifter of my head. When a person tries to bow down their head and walk, it shows discouragement. But the Lord will lift our head. And those people who betrayed us, persecuted us, maligned us, ridiculed us. You don't need to fight by your strength. Let God do the fight. And one day, your head will be lifted up. He is the lifter of our continents. When you are surrounded with people that are full of fear and helplessness and hopelessness, always remember, Deuteronomy 31.8 is going ahead of you. He will be with you and He will not abandon you. 
Itutulak ka pa ng Lord. Tuloy ka lang. Keep going. Don't stop. Pwede nyo bang sabihin sa katabi nyo, don't stop. Wag ko, don't stop sleeping. Don't, don't stop. Don't stop serving the Lord! And I'm almost, almost close. Now that we understand why King Josephat need this courage, that courage because of the situation he's surrounded with fear, hopelessness. He has been exposed with people with lots of burden and the pressure is on him. And the situation is not on your favor. Now we can see where did he establish that source of courage? 2 Chronicles 20 verse 3 in Living Bible. I'm going to re re read it again. Hallelujah. Jehoshaphat was badly shaken by this news and determined to beg for help from the Lord. So he announced that all the people of Judah should go without food for a time in penitence and intercession before God. That's why we believe we declared 21 days fasting in this church before the anniversary because we know we want to be part of the season of revival. And where is that source of courage? Saan po inestablish ni King Josaphat ang courage? He had uttered a very powerful prayer. In verse 6, you can see of the same chapter, some people came, told Josaphat, a vast army are coming against from us. At malapit na sila. This passage means that they are getting closer to start to invade towns and every towns, every cities. Imagine the response of King Josephat. Instead of, oh, prepare, prepare now the, the armor. He said, let's pray and fast. What is the special ingredient of King Josephat in his prayer? He committed the situation to God and acknowledging the only God can save the nation. It's not us. Have you experienced in your life, ginawa mo na ang lahat? May kanta nga, kunin mo na ang lahat sa akin. Wag lang ang aking mahal. Si Jehoshaphat po, iba eh. I give it all to the Lord and let God fight this battle. Are you waiting for something in your life? Your status? Breakthrough in your families? Salvation of your family? Pray and fast. Commit to the Lord. Acknowledge Him. That's the only way to make breakthrough in the hands of God. Number two, he sought God's favor because his people were God's people. If you're going to read verse 7 to 9, King Jehoshaphat is reminding, reminding them. He's reminding the Lord, Lord, anak mo kami, inalis mo kami sa Egypt eh. Niligtas mo na kami, binigay mo na nga ito eh. Did you know that sometimes the Lord misses that kind of communication with him? Yung pinaalala mo sa Lord, yung mga pinangako niya. Have you had that kind of prayer? Lord, you promised me this. You said to me this, Lord. But I am this situation. I, I had this a chance, Andrew, show me one TikTok. And there's a Christian lady is praying for a partner. Lord, is he the one? Let your will be done. Balik siya uli. Eh, ang tagal. Hindi pa sinasagot. Lord, baka naman, pwedeng pasend ang tracking number. Or baka natabunan yung prayer request ko. But Lord, let your will be done. You know what? God is ready to answer all our prayers if you hold His promises firm and secure. Ano mang pinangako ng Diyos sa inyo? Pag pinanghawakan po ninyo, hindi po niya pwedeng hindi binigay. 
Bakit? Pinangako niya eh. Diyos siya eh. Hindi siya nagbabago. Hinding-hindi. Hinding-hindi bibitaw. Brother Romel, pakikanta nga natin yan. Sa mga pangako mo, kaka. Can you sing that? Hindi, hindi bibita. Sa mga pangako mo, sa mga pangako mo, kakapit, kakapit. Ano man, kahit na ano bagyo, ang daranasin ko. Daranasin ko. Tapos na po si Pastora. Ibigay natin ang pinaka-best worship sa Lord. Sa mga pangako mo, kakapi, kahit na anong bagyo, ang daranasin ko. Mananatili. Panginoon. Ikaw ang dahilan. Ikaw ang dahilan Kung pa't ako ay nabubuhay Habang ko'y taglan Hindi sasayangin Hindi sasayangin Kaligtas ay kaloob Aking iingatan Hanggang sa'yo Pagpapalik We may be all seated. And you know what? King Jehoshaphat, he committed everything to the Lord. Lord, I cannot do this battle. 
All I can do is to pray and I know you can do the rest. He sought God's favor in His people. He reminded, Lord, remind me, remind your people. And he acknowledged God's sovereignty over the current situation. That's why the song says, And Lord, we want to lift your name up high. Sing it. And Lord, we want to lift your name on high. And Lord, we want to thank you. And Lord, we want to thank you for the words you've done in my life. Lord, we trust in your unfailing love. For you alone. For you alone, our God eternal. You are earth and heaven above. Saglit lamang po. Awitin po natin. We're gonna sing this song one again, once again. May I see the hands, those who are here, that right now you become a permanent resident. But before you become a permanent resident, You've been struggling your paper before. Can I see the hand? You see the greatness and the work of God? Now your family is now here. Maybe some of you have been hospitalized, have been sick, and you don't know. Lord, well, can I draw courage to live in this life? And now, you are okay, you are stable, you have job. Lord, how can I bring my family? It's so impossible. But now, your family are here. Is it not enough to say to the Lord? And Lord, we want to live your name on high. Let's sing this song. And Lord, we want to thank you for the words you've done. As we sing this song, and Lord, we remember what God has done in your, your life. Love. Where do you have that courage? For you alone are God is Come love. on, sing. You are the Lift up your hands above. And Lord, we want to live your name on high. Where your strength comes from. And Lord, we want to thank you. For the words you've done in our lives And Lord, we trust in your unfailing love The Lord will be with you For He will be behind you And He will be going ahead of you And Lord, we want to lift your name on high We want to thank you for the words you've done in our lives. And Lord, we trust in your unfailing love. For you alone are God eternal, pure in heaven above. I want to just follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. May I see those people to just stand up? Dati ka lang nangungupahan, ngayon binigyan ka na la Lord ng bahay. Pero ang trabaho mo lang sa fast food, kung saan, but now God is blessing you a house. Can you please stand up and sing this song to the Lord? Hallelujah! Dati kang contract worker, hindi mo kaya. But the Lord is so great. Tumayo mo ang pinagpala ng Lord mula fast food. Ngayon, may bahay na. Thank you for the work you've done in us. I want you to stand up as well. Just keep on standing up. I want to see the people, the young people have been changed their lives. I want to see those people in here that God brought you in this church. Dati kang desperado. Ngayon dahil nakilala mo si Cristo, naranasan mo ang kanyang kabutihan. I want to see people, those who have no status, 
And now God is making a way for you to become a what? Become a permanent resident in this place. Just stand up and say yes. Give thanks to what God has done. And Lord, and Lord, we want to thank you for the words you've done in our lives. And Lord, we trust in you. God is eternal through earth and heaven Sing it! And Lord, we want to lift your name on high Remember what the Lord has done to you Lord, we want to thank you for the words you've done in my life And Lord, we trust in your unfailing love For you alone the Lord deserves the best cup of praise. Pagod na ho ba kayo? I want to make it more quick. I really designed this service as a prelude for our anniversary. You haven't noticed where you draw your courage? It is because when you worship and praise the Lord, God is adding more courage. You and I were standing here because of the greatness of God. We've surrounded with disappointments and fear. The favor before is not ours. Dati po sa Pilipinas, hindi tayo magkasasakyan. Ngayon, lalabas ka lang ng pinto, dalawa-dalawa pa ang sasakyan mo. Pag nagkasakit ka, ang umaalalay sa'yo, mga puti. Sa Pilipinas, tinitingnan natin sila, na excite tayo. Haven't you realized the goodness of God? And why you are here in that kind of life now? Who give you the courage? It is the Lord. And the ways to release that courage in the midst of battle. Number one, I'm going to be quick in here. Standing in united spirit. If you are united in the Lord, look at verse 13. All the men of Judah with their wives and their children and little ones stood before the Lord. I'm calling the attention of all the Father. Joshua said, As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Can I see the hand of all the fathers here? Can you wave your hand? Like King Jehoshaphat, he asked all the men of Judah, not the women of Judah, but the men of Judah. All the fathers, they bring them in front of the Lord. And verse 14, The Spirit of the Lord came. And what is the message of God? Sabi ng Panginoon sa kanila, I will be with you. Father, where are you going to bring the destiny of your family? Bring your family united in Christ. Hallelujah! And listening to voice of God is the way to release that courage. Never focus on what your flesh says. Remember this, in verse 15, he said, Listen, King Jehoshaphat, and who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says, Do not be afraid or discouraged. Mga tatay, wag po kayong madiscourage. If plans are not working out today, the Lord is just only saying, For tomorrow, the battle is not yours but for God. Tomorrow, march down against. They will be climbing. Sinasabi ng Lord, Tumayo ka lang. Father, Father of this church, just stand up. Trust in me, and I will bring the destiny of your family. Pastora, I am a single mom. I'm telling you, stand up. God will bring the destiny of your family. All you have to do, number three, number three, embracing God's reminder. 
Lagi nating ipaalala, Lord, walang wala ako noon. Walang wala ako. Always remind me that I am nothing, Lord, even up to now. So no one can boast. That's why we sing that this soul is to the Lord. Then sings my soul, my Savior, my Savior God to si Satan sa buhay niyo, binalik ni Lord. How are you going to honor the Lord now by saying how great you are? And in the season that you are going to release your courage, start to focus on God's direction. Hindi na to panahon ng panlalamig. Hindi na to panahon ng pagbabackslide. If God promised that He will fight for you, then let God fight for you. For He said, God will make a way when there seems to be no way. That is the song that says, God will make a way when there seems, when there seems to be no way. He works in ways. He works in ways. He will make a way for me. He will be He my guide. He will be my guide. Ng Diyos. God will return you to where you belong. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make. He will sing make it together. God will make a way. Way. He works in ways, he works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to me. 
Let us just Take honor the Lord. Take me deeper. Take me deeper. Deeper in love. Deeper in love with Wag you. Wag ko magsawaan ng sumamba sa Panginoon. Make it your personal worship. Jesus, I want more of you. Jesus, I want more of you. I love you, Holy Spirit. Oh, 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 you. Draw me closer. Draw me closer. Closer to your heart. Lift up your hands oh, and just give thanks to the Lord for Jesus His faithfulness. It is because 2 Chronicles 20 They won the battle Not with the chariots Not with their armor But they won This battle because They praise the Lord Declaring God's authority To the power of praise And as they began to sing and praise the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon mob and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated sino gusto nyo isang araw mabalitaan nyo lahat ng pagsubok nyo tumaob dahil sa praise and worship hallelujah hallelujah Kaya ano po yung sabi, pastora, kanya pa kami umiiyak, magsaya naman tayo. Sabi po ng awit, tuloy daw ang awit, sigaw ng pusong nagtatagumpay. Amen? I think that is in my slide. Shall we give our praise? Come on! Praise God! Let's copy what King Joseph did! Ano bang pinagdadaanan nyo ngayon? They will be one under your feet. Sigaw ng aking puso nagtagumpay Pagkat lakas mo ang taglay Tuloy ang awi Tuloy ang naloy at ito'y walang umpay Ang ilong Ang ilong ng kapuri Tuloy, tuloy, 
us what praise can do to release the courage one when you praise God it reveals your humility before him that we cannot do anything without him praising God can help us to establish our trust in God that's number two and praising God releases victory over every battle and praising God breaks the walls of strongholds kaya nga po nang sabi po dun sa awit victory victory is mine amen hallelujah can we sing the song clap your hands to the lord victory victory is mine victory victory is mine victory victory is mine oh yes i know oh lord i have already won the battle victory Palakpak mo na tayo. Let's go for it. Pastora, kanina umiyak tayo, ngayon nagpupuri tayo. Dahil ganito po tumataob ang lahat ng problema sa buhay. This is how King Josephat fight the battle. Amen? Naramdaman niya po na nag-worship tayo, tumutululuhan natin. It is the crying of your soul. Iniiyak mo na sa Lord. Eh, iniiyak mo na. Magsasaya na tayo ngayon. Are you ready to clear victory? Amen? I'm... Victory, victory is mine. Oh yes, I know. Oh Lord, I have already won the battle. Victory, victory, deliverance, deliverance, deliverance is mine. Deliverance, deliverance is mine. Oh yes, I know. Oh Lord, I have already won the battle. Deliverance, healing, healing of the family, healing, healing. You know what? In the season that I am discouraged, the Lord praise, says, King praise. Jehoshaphat, they make a noise. They make a noise. And when they start, sabi po doon sa last uh, verse 20 to 22, when they start, can you say it with me? When they start, nagsisimula pa lang. Nagsisimula pa lang. Bumabagsak na ang kalaban. That's why we have to make a noise. Make a noise, make a noise, make a joyful noise. To the Lord, to the Lord, to the Lord, everybody. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before Him with praise. Make a noise. Make a noise, make a noise, make a joyful noise. To the Lord, to the Lord, to the Lord, everybody. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before Him. Bumabagsak ang kaaway. I'm gonna sing it and listen first. Brother Romel, play this song. Make a noise, make a noise, make a joyful noise to the Lord, to the Lord, to the Lord, everybody. Cause the Lord with gladness come before Him with prayer. Get it? One more time. Make a noise, make a noise, make a joyful noise to the Lord, to the Lord, to the Lord, everybody. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with praise. One more time. Make a noise. Make a noise. Make a noise. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. To the Lord. To the Lord. Everybody serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with praise. We've got. We've got the power.
ng Aurolio Days yan. Eh di awitin po natin yung war song. Sino po dito? I wanna see the hands. Sino may mga dinadalang malalaking struggles ngayon? Do you believe that this is the season of revival? Now we will sing. As we clap our hands, we will what? We will fight. Amen. We have the weapon of warfare. Dance ministers. Dance ministers. Let's sing the first verse. We have the weapon. Hallelujah. We have the weapon. The praises of God. The praises of God in my mind. Whatever your struggles. We have the sword of the spirit. The word of truth, the word of God. For no weapon, for no weapon, for no weapon formed against us will prosper. For the battle is the Lord, and He'll not be. We will go forth and praise the name of Jesus. Ano mang problema ngayon? 
I-strike natin ang lahat ng problema. Whether family, personal, whatever it is, long-standing prayer, we will strike them by the power of the Lord. Jesus, are you ready? As we clap our hands, we will strike the enemy. As we dance with joy, the host of hell will do. Yes, we will love our freedom. As we lift our hands, His battle will be raised. With a shout, a shout of victory. But courage is a decision. Amen. Fear. Dito po magen si pas. Fear is a reaction. I want to show that final thought on my slide. Who? Parang anniversary na. But courage is a decision. Are you now decided to fight a good fight of faith? Amen. Amen. In this life, in this life, there will always situation that will test our courage. Uh, please flash my last slide, please. But remember that it is better to be a lion in a day than to be a sheep all the days of your life. A uh, courage, as courage is the most important virtue, and without exploring it. We cannot consistently do the rest of the virtues. Amen. Pwede ubang may flash yung last slide ko? Ayan po. Napakaganda pong reminder. Tapos na po si Paz. When I'm writing this, what a war song, a warfare song that gives us fear is just a reaction and courage is a decision. Who wants to be a lion? Wave your hand. It's better to be a lion at a day than to be a sheep in the rest of your life. Because courage is the most important virtue. And now that we have the victory, ano po yung gagawin natin? Like King Jehoshaphat, he go back to the Lord and say, Salamat, Panginoon. Oh, we give you praise. Let's give our hands to the Lord. Salamat, salamat, O Jesus, sa pag-ibig mo. Hindi ko kaya ng isipin Hindi hindi 
I pray for blessings and strength upon my people and meet their needs, God, according to thy riches and to thy glory. We give you praise, we give you honor. Only you deserve this praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen.